now an investigation. We've heard a lot lately about the ride services called Uber and Lyft that are competing with traditional taxi companies. Reporter Elijah Kaplan wanted to know more, so he spent time with Green Cab, city officials, and with an economist. Uber did not respond to repeated requests for interviews. A lot of travelers in Somerville and beyond are enthusiastic about a new transportation option, sometimes called ride sharing. Here's how it works. Users request a car through an app on their smartphone, like Uber or Lyft. The nearby drivers may then respond and accept the fare. The user then gets a picture, name, and rating from other users for that driver. Payments are cashless and the companies take a cut of each fare. The rest goes to the driver. Hi, we're Lyft. Lyft is the idea that people can be brought together through transportation. Today, but taxi drivers and taxi companies are not so enthralled. Along comes an app where, um, whether it's and there's Uber and Lyft and Halo, and so a lot of these ride sharing are kind of skirting the regulations mm -hmm. that taxi cabs just cannot. You know, we're still responsible. We're still required to bring our cabs in once a year to be inspected, and we have to have our, me our meters checked once a year and resealed to make sure they're accurate. Our rates are set through our town. Um, so there's a lot of regulations that these apps just don't follow. Right. And the real problem is that they're essentially illegal by the letter of the law and whether it's an ordinance or state law, whatever it is, they are breaking the law and there's zero enforcement. Uber and Lyft are part of what is often referred to as the sharing economy. But is this term accurate? Well, the term sharing economy, when used to describe organizations like Uber or Airbnb, is quite misleading. Uh, what we mean by sharing is when I have something, uh, maybe I'm driving to the airport and you need a ride, I'll give you a ride along with me and that's fine. I, when I charge you a fee for taking you to the airport, that's not sharing. That's selling you a service. That's what Uber does. It's not sharing at all. Airbnb uh, charges people for a bed in their home and a room. Uh, that's not sharing. That's selling a service. Sometimes uh, these services like Uber or Airbnb or Lyft are um, considered what's called a neoliberal. Uh, or part of a neoliberal way of organizing the economy. And what that really means is that they operate without or with minimal regulation by the government. A fact that hasn't gone unnoticed by traditional taxi companies like Somerville's Green and Yellow Cab. Our pricing is set. It is set by the town. And once those rates are set, it's set until we go in and ask them for a raise, where some of these other ride sharing, they agree on a price, and Uber actually has what they call surge pricing, where when it's busy, whether it's a concert or a, or a sporting event, and there aren't a lot of vehicles on the road, you could pay two to three times what it would cost you to go home versus what it costs you to get in there. In Somerville, the traditional taxi sector is highly regulated. The city sets rates, oversees medallions, and the police department keeps track of vehicles and drivers. Well, the taxi industry in Somerville is regulated by city ordinance. Uh, the city ordinance regulates the licensing of taxi cab drivers, the, the issuance of taxi cab medallions, and then the rules and regulations about operation of them, marking of them, cleanliness, roadworthiness, all that. Taxi cab drivers go through a screening process. Uh, the taxi cabs themselves are inspected yearly by the police department, and they're subject to random inspection that the, uh, the officer assigned to the taxi unit can stop them and inspect them for cleanliness and roadworthiness. Critics of these companies say that drivers are not adequately vetted, that cars may not be up to snuff, and that insurance coverage is insufficient. They also say that drivers are being exploited by companies like Uber, which takes 25% of the driver's fare. 
Because of these questions and the lack of regulation, some countries, states, and cities have been considering writing new laws to control the industry. Germany recently went one step further and banned Uber altogether. Here in Somerville, Mayor Joseph A. Curtatoni is enthusiastic about the new services. So anybody who knows the mayor and in, the, in his general policies knows that he's a staunch supporter of innovation and he's a strong advocate for entrepreneurs and new businesses that are creating new models and new jobs that'll help us move forward in a new economy. And Uber is no different. Um, the mayor loves Uber and Lyft. He's used both services himself. Um, but he's also relied for a long time on our traditional taxi services. So he understands and believes strongly that we need to find a solution that will um, both allow our new businesses to enter the market while making sure that our longtime businesses aren't put at some type of financial disadvantage. The traditional taxi industry also has its critics. Medallions cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, drivers work long hours and sometimes barely make ends meet. Maybe that's why these companies have taken off. Recently, Google Ventures invested $258 million in Uber, which has since been valued at $18 billion. Uber-type services have been able to enter into the, uh, the taxi cab industry because, of course, that's what they've done, uh, because there are so many problems in the taxi cab system. However, that doesn't mean that Uber is the solution and that deregulation is the solution. That's not what follows from recognizing the problems that exist. In, in cases like public transportation, the lack of regulation can be an, an extremely serious problem. Instead of figuring out what we could do to create a good taxi cab system, we allow people to come into the industry at avoiding the regulations uh, handling it a different way that is very profitable for them, but has all sorts of problems for the rest of us. Because we're accepting this idea that somehow this is the only way to do it. But there are other ways that, uh, that these situations can be improved. We don't have to defend the existing way to say that Uber isn't the, isn't the answer. How will this transportation war end? It is as yet unclear. But the Metropolitan Area Planning Council has begun preliminary talks with local mayors, including Mayor Curtatoni, to find a regional solution to the issue. Reporting for Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm Elijah Kaplan.